Hey folks, welcome back. It's seating day. But before we do that, I have to take care of some things like these weeds. Tell you what, this took a lot of work and I'm really hoping and praying that the seed actually takes. This side yard is looking good, but this section has always been the toughest because it's on the south side and it gets hit with sun all day. So I'm gonna have to really pay attention. So what do you folks think? Do you think I did enough to get my yard ready for seed? I've been losing a lot of sleep trying to answer that same question myself. Let me know in the comments. So before I drop the seed, I need to make sure that I have everything ready to go for the backyard. So I'm not running the wheelbarrow or any other things on the new seed. Alrighty folks, this is work day number seven of this renovation. I have tested my irrigation and I think all the rotor heads seem to be working as it should. And I also think I've got them all in the right spots. I also painted spots for the ones that I removed for seating. My wife is excited that we have Target logos all over our yard. Some of you guys can relate. I also picked up two bales of peat moss, which is about 3.8 cubic foot each. I'm also gonna spread it at the recommended rate of one cubic foot per thousand. Uh, hopefully this should be enough. Let's take a look at the backyard and the work that I did yesterday. Still a lot of leveling work to be done. 
my plan was to run the irrigation for the side and backyard from the back spigot. In testing, I found that the pressure was way better on the front spigot because it's closer to the main water line, and, I, and it didn't have to compete with other things in my house. So I have all of these hoses strung across everywhere. Good thing I tested it.
So now we're on working day eight of this project. I used the compost spreader yesterday and made one pass. It was dropping way too much peat moss and I would have probably needed about three or four more bales to complete the front yard. At 39 bucks per bale, I decided to just hand spread it. It didn't have too many large pieces, so I think uh, it should be fine and I'm okay with it. From what I can tell, the irrigation worked as it should, pretty much at seven minutes duration, four times a day. I ran out of time yesterday, so let's work on seeding the side yard. Not sure if you can see it, but that roller really does a good job in pressing in that seed into the soil. So some say you don't need to roll it in, and some live by it. Guess we'll find out. Finally, I think we're all done here, folks.
the sprinkler running. I really like the beehive system, but I think I need to get that hub which connects both these systems together. The connection to each is Bluetooth, so it takes a bit of time to connect. But with the hub, it turns it into like a Wi-Fi connection. Plus, I think it gives you a better range and also extra additional control the system. We had some family come over yesterday and my camera battery died so I didn't film the backyard seating. My apologies. Everything seems to be getting in uh, watered properly. Some areas more than others. Um, I know that I'll have to really pay attention to this. Hopefully I should have germination between five to seven days so fingers and eyes are crossed. This was a bit of a pain. Leveling really dry sand is not fun. I marked out the area I wanted for the putting green and seeded it with bent grass. I seeded with the same rye grass everywhere else. This bent grass itself was a pain because the seed is so fine and we're talking salt granules fine. I really had to pay attention to where I was actually spreading it. I just hope I didn't miss any large areas, but you know, it's supposed to spread, so hopefully that should be good. I didn't spread any peat moss, nor did I spray any herbicide because of the bent grass. So this is pretty much on its own an experiment. We'll see what happens. Well folks, now it's just water, 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 and wait. So if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. And if you like content like this, please consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching and keep on cutting.